shocking scene in Philadelphia over the weekend. Watch the absolute chaos as hundreds of vehicles descend on a busy intersection. Cars did donuts while hundreds of people took to the streets, lighting fires, throwing fireworks, jumping on cars. At least five police vehicles were damaged, some with their windows smashed and their tires deflated. Several officers were hurt in that chaos. It was the 11th illegal car meetup Philly police responded to in just one week. And they say someone even brought a flamethrower to one of them. Steve, we were talking about this, the absolute devolution of society. Yeah, this, this is the collapse of civilized society, and this is normal now. I mean, you see scenes like that in Los Angeles pretty much every weekend. It's just not reported to the same degree, and is the direct result of policy choices. Far left extremists in charge of DA departments and the defund the police movement, even if it's not actually defunding them, the demoralization of the police, so they feel it's, there's no point in going after this kind of behavior, and it's the collapse of law and order that we all have a right to expect, but it can be overturned with the right policy choices from the right people in charge. You know, I'm just worried that children like mine and others who are, you know, preteen and teenagers right now are watching this and thinking that we are devolving into something that looks like Mad Max Thunderdome. Yes. I mean, it's, it's really disturbing. And my girls, thank the good Lord, will be part of I Pray For the Solution. But what a mighty, mighty weight on a new generation. We, it doesn't have to be this way. They could be curing cancer. They could be doing so many other things, but we're gonna have to save society because you can't live like this. That's right. And Kaylee Harris brings up such an excellent point that, for example, right there in Philadelphia, as well as Democrat-led cities throughout the country, the performance rate of students at public schools is abysmal. Yes. The vast majority cannot read or write or perform math at anywhere near the acceptable level. Yeah, they also have another thing in common, these blue jurisdictions. They love criticizing police officers. They loved the idea of defunding police and withdrawing resources until it became impractical. Uh, one civilian tried to charge at a police officer with their car. Another ran over a woman's foot. And the quote at the bottom of the CBS article was interesting. The city of Philadelphia Police Department is at an all-time low in manpower. We desperately need police officers. You think? We could have told you that four years ago when you wanted to drain resources out of the department. Yeah. But to Steve's point, the demoralization and the gutting of the administration uh, or administrative sort of memory is real. This is a fundamental dearth in the police and law enforcement ranks and, and who blames them? Their safety is at stake. Well, I mean, a couple things. First, I spend a lot of time in Philly. It is not normally like this. It is a lovely city. Um, but President Biden gave the police more funding. At the congressional level, I think a lot of Democrats look at scenes like this, despite crime numbers in many ways going down, including murder rates. When people see this, they understand that this ha has an effect, right? You, you can't not see this and be concerned. So good the crime numbers are down overall, especially on, on violent crimes, but still got some work to do. A, yeah. Last piece of data for you, Emily, to your point. Kamala Harris's Oakland, 75% of students can't read, write, do math at the grade level. Oh, that's right. And any any um, depletion of numbers or degradation is because of reclassification in part. So at the end of the day, people are unsafe, especially in Oakland and Philly and the like, and there's absolutely no replete there. More outnumbered in just a moment. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe